Is a defendant's criminal past ever admissible at trial? What if the defendant previously lied about that past while under oath? We explore those questions in United States v. Owens. Gary Owens was a warrant officer in the United States Army. He was accused of shooting and killing his third wife, Mary, as she drove down the street near their home. Owens claimed that he accidentally shot his wife. Owens was tried for Mary's murder by a general court-martial consisting of officers and a military judge. At trial, Owens denied that he'd ever lied under oath. The prosecution attempted to impeach Owens by showing that he'd knowingly omitted critical information from his warrant officer application. On cross-examination, Owens admitted that certain information wasn't listed on his application. He denied, however, that he'd knowingly omitted it. Specifically, cross-examination revealed that Owens had failed to disclose three incidents. The first involved his conviction for marijuana possession. The second involved his arrest for assaulting his second wife. The third involved his conviction for possessing a gun without a permit. The judge instructed that this evidence was only admissible on the limited issue of whether Owens lied on his warrant officer application. It shouldn't be considered for any other purpose. Owens was convicted of killing Mary without premeditation. He was dishonorably discharged and was sentenced to confinement and hard labor. The convening authority approved the sentence. The Army Court of Military Review affirmed. Owens then appealed to the Court of Military Appeals. 